I am going to be making these films a little shorter and covering a, a more limited uh, realm of data and just deliver them a little more frequently. And I'm only doing it this way because I tend to get carried away and end up presenting this preponderance of information. So I'm going to try to limit myself to shorter films and you'll be able to process these decisions and information in smaller bits and pieces. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to cover in this film, but I know just going in that the first thing I wanted to cover based upon uh, what we talked about after the last film was seeing what this platform was going to look like built in up level with the house platform. So the first thing I did without any consideration to how the foundation is going to be or how the bottom is going to be finished is put a platform in there at that zero height which is the level of your inside floor just to see going forward what our challenges were going to be or what our limitations were going to be. So that's the very first thing I did for this film. So here's a hypothetical porch floor at about maybe a half an inch down from your existing floor. Uh, more or less level with your existing interior floor, this platform here. And right away I knew one of the main issues, or I could see that one of the main issues was going to be our clearance under these lower pergola beams up here, which at this first look was pushing the limit since the code limit on doors is six foot eight inches. So first I briefly looked at you know dropping that down three or four inches from your floor level and having a little ramp down to the porch. And this first little rotation film just kind of shows some of the issues and things that we'll be dealing with uh, trying to put this like this which I like the idea and I think that we can solve almost everything. I'm positive we can solve anything that is going to come up. But I just was horsing around with, you know, because these columns are not, you know, these ones are closer together than these ones. So when you do this, you almost have to bring the porch all the way through, the capturing all of those pergola columns. I think that you can't leave any of those on the ground. All of those will have to come up to the level of the porch, which was probably what you had in mind. And that triangle at the corner, that would probably be clipped off. And then railings and stairs put wherever you think is the right place to put them. But before anything with that, I wanted to deal with the door issue, converting this window, these windows to a door system through there. And looking through the various alternatives that a person's presented with when they do this. This is just where we left off the last time with that uh, door system just put in there and that's actually wider than what the existing windows are. Now, very quickly before that though I took a closer look at these floor levels. Now this red line that actually represents your finished floor inside, the hardwood inside. And this, based on that idea of a small ramp down after the threshold of the door, is has it down three and three quarters, giving us a clearance of almost seven foot to this beam. But, and you can see if we go up to two, we're down to six nine. So we can almost get that level with the inside and still meet code at this uh, pergola member here. So that, for, for the moment, I'm going to try to design this at that. It's going to actually be, you know, that's where it's going to be set is six foot eight below that member there. We're going to work with that going in and then see if we want to drop it down or whatever. But that's what I am going to start with going in as far as this exterior design. Uh, but returning to the windows and doors, that was the actual brick opening we have there in this red line here. 8 foot 1 wide roughly and 7 foot 8 high and transferring that to inside so it's kind of like this now 
these doors are generally going to come in six foot eight, maybe six foot ten, seven foot zero, and then eight foot zero. And we do not have eight foot zero to work with. So we're going to be looking at alternatively closing this down and drying walling this in. We're going to be looking at you know, some sort of a transom, you know, in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 inches high, depending on what these doors work out uh, down here. But in terms of the doors, now that I've gotten to the end of this on my own end, uh, probably, if it can work with you, one of these hinge doors, it's a three foot wide hinge door. Your one at the back door is 32 inches, I believe. But this is a 36 inch because it's that's more of a wheelchair accessible width. So, and if you do this hinge door, you have to decide which side you want to hinge on. And it will swing back in front of whatever panels or whatever we use on the side. So that's indicating the swing. And we start filling this in with various alternatives for these doors. As I said, I'm not going to, you, you can think about these things on your own, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. But thinking about these doors, this is too tall, obviously. So we're into this sort of a thing, a 6-8, possibly, we have 7-8, so hopefully some door manufacturers make these shorter heights that finish out at 80 inches and then you have a whole foot to make this transom up here. This transom will probably be manufactured by some manufacturer that's not the door manufacturer because that's going to just be as kind of a custom shape and size. Well, not a shape, but it's going to be a custom rectangle. But thinking further about the doors, though, and this is if those doors are only available in six foot ten, then we get down to about a ten inch transom height. And this glass is probably going to be about six inches tall with a ten inch unit. Oh, I suppose you would have to also decide, particularly if this porch is all the way level here, or very nearly level, you have to decide whether you want that door swinging into your room or actually out. Of course, swinging out, you want, if you want a screen, that'll be a different consideration. Swinging in, you could put a standard, you know, hinged screen door on it, but swinging out, you're into some sort of uh, side zip screen that slides from the side, if that's, if you need that to be a screened opening. I'm, I'm going to cover some more of these uh, door alternatives, but before I get into the actual type of door system, and the first thing also to consider is the material. Now, at your back door, those pretty sure I can't remember if those are wood inside but they are steel I think they're steel clad uh, wood or they're aluminum on the outside and wood on the inside or steel on both sides in any event the alternative is you know aluminum clad on the outside and wood finish inside but you can get these in fiberglass where the outside can be a variety of uh, wood grain finishes and the inside can be white so there's just a whole variety of finishes that you can get for these. In addition, in all of these alternatives, I'm just going to be showing these glass doors with some sort of light division, some sort of divided lights. But the if a person was inclined and they wanted to, there are manufacturers that will make these doors, uh, and some of them standard sizes, that have a panel down here, similar to what you have in your hallway, and then glass up here. But maybe you want this all open but it is something that I'm just going to mention so this was a 36 inch hinge door and it could be hinged either way right now it's shown hinged left and the other way would be hinged right and that is 36 inch and so these flanking units are almost 30 inches wide probably 28 or 30 inches wide with that hinge single hinged door now this is, gets into a French door where you have two leaves and for a wheelchair you would have to open both of these leaves to get out because this is a four foot unit so that's two foot and two foot and with two foot flanking units. You get a little bit wider where this these are actually 30 and a person probably could get a wheelchair out of 30 particularly if the ramp or the threshold was not too cumbersome. But that is a 30, and you can get up, I mean, you can, that's, you can go to two 32s, which would be twice the width of your rear door, existing back door. And this was just different light divisions on that. And then you could, you can get these things here all the way down to 10 inches. So you could have a, a six foot 
French door, in swing French door, or out swing French door. The same considerations with regard to that screen will apply though. Another thing with these doors that I'm, I'm not showing, but I'm showing is considered traditional French doors with this bottom rail that's nine inches tall and these sides that are about four, four and a half inches wide. And the side lights, those rails or those styles are generally smaller, like two inches. But they have similar hinged patio doors, which are called, well, this is more a French door. They call these patio doors or terrace doors. But they have smaller styles, only maybe three inches wide. And the bottom rail is only three or four inches high as well. So there's even more glass. So that's something to think about. And then after these hinged type doors, uh, you get into sliding doors. And this is shown as a six foot sliding door here and they are really only available in six foot and eight foot well they have them a little smaller but unless you're going to go to something custom it's six foot or eight foot and this is six foot shown with these side lights and again you would have to decide do i want to come in on the left side or the right side and finally there's an eight foot unit and on these here this hardware is set at a certain height so I don't know how easy this door is to open when this handle is set at this height. So this is one of the things to consider about wheelchair access. At least what I read up on is that's a kind of a critical piece. But I'm sure that these are set low enough that, at least from Anderson, for example, that they're going to meet in code. But we would be double checking that uh, for sure. So there's the 8-foot slider six-foot slider with side lights and then we start getting into these types of systems that are considered sliding glass walls essentially is what they call them and you can see that if we can get that and we can one way or another we can get that porch floor up level with your floor you can see that's a pretty low profile track through there at least on these ones here this is an interior environment so Exterior is a little bit more, you know, sturdy, but it is a similar, very low profile type thing. But these are fairly pricey. You can see they're used in these sorts of environments. But there are a number of manufacturers besides these nano walls, which they were the beginners of this. And I have read through this before, and they do have them where they are thermal, thermally protected that are suited up for exterior use and they have them for residential use as well where the finishes are like this and this begins to show you some of uh, what I am ended up talking about in the film going forward a little bit but I figured I'd scroll through this first I'm not saying all this commercial stuff but they do have a number of residential products where these are essentially bifold doors and when they when you open them all up then you have this whole thing open except for the thickness of the doors at the end uh, but I was hoping I could get so they open up like this with part in the middle and then open up like that but I think I have not finished the research but if someone was really interested in this they may make them where these actually swing back against the wall but I did not follow that because these are expensive just to start with. See, that would be the ideal thing. But offhand, I didn't find that right away. They have them where they come out. And actually, what I found was that these only go out. So they're out swinging doors. So your screening is completely really not an option here. And you would almost have to have a, a screened porch outside if you were to have that kind of an opening. And I'm just considering this now as I come across it. And here you see, with this low threshold sill, there's only half an inch high compared to the standard sill, which is about an inch and a half high. This seems like this would be pretty tough for a wheelchair user to bump up over this, particularly if they're going to use that on the regular. So I think if we could find a product from Anderson, it's probably going to be the less expensive way to go. Although I have, I have made a request from uh, Nanowall, which is, you know, the original manufacturer of these folding doors. If this is something uh, in a direction which we're going to head.
but low th threshold sill and this is for a hinged door now, I don't know for a sliding door whether they have a similar thing I'll tell you here in a minute finally with regard to these sliding doors or hinged doors the sliding doors the hinged doors from Anderson at least I mean that's just one brand that I looked at because it was the only one I could find that had a low profile threshold so from but I looked this up also from Anderson for their uh, sliding doors and this is for their sliding door uh, series and they do have this ramp sill and this was would go inside that ramps up to their presumably their lowest profile sliding door threshold here is what I found out as far as their ramped sill goes where you are ramping up over this one and seven sixteenths standard sliding door threshold but note that the gliding insect screen can't be used with the ramped sill because it looks like they have this extra piece in here that prevents that from happening but gives you a ramp up and a ramp back down to your porch floor. All of this meaning that at least from the manufacturer Anderson you can use any combination of their sliding and hinged doors and have this sort of threshold environment. The hinged ones are very low, half an inch. The sliding ones require this ramp from Anderson. There are other manufacturers, however. Including manufacturers that manufacture presumably a no threshold barrier free door for wheelchair use. But I'm not going to go too far down their particular road until I know if this is something that's uh, required or is an objective. They do, this is from there in Germany, but they do have a dealer in Cleveland. So presumably these are available in the U.S. Yes, that's right. What I found out, particularly from this manufacturer, uh, is for one thing, it's made in Germany, so it's going to be shipped across the U.S. presumably. And it's all this high-end kind of uh, designs that are not traditional. So I don't think they would be an answer. But there are perhaps other manufacturers that do this no threshold type situation. When they say no threshold, you can see that they really just mean a low pro profile threshold. It doesn't look that much lower than, for example, the hinge door from Anderson. Finally, in that same sort of information category, with regard to Anderson, this, you know, I want you to note that they also make these custom heights. And custom widths were all right because we're eight feet on this one, but hey, we can cut, customize that whole wall and just have sliding doors or French doors to go up to the seven foot eight height and don't even bother with the transom. So that's something that we might want to explore, at least from the standpoint of how much more does that run to do. I think that is it. I know this film's been a mess, uh, but hopefully this, I, I'm just going to end it here because it's, and I will be endeavoring to just update you daily with one of these films with new decisions and new, you know, sort of developments as we put this thing together. So you're gonna have something to think about each day and it doesn't matter if you don't come back to me right away with this, you can always rewatch these films from the start. So for now, I'm going to assume that this is going to be the last of this particular one, and I will talk to you tomorrow, presumably. Thanks.